So there's a crash course in oxidizers with a demonstration of how they work. An oxidizer, you can think of it in layman's terms as something that gives more oxygen to a reaction. It's not exactly how it works. It actually has to do with electron transfers and the most powerful oxidizers don't actually have any oxygen in them. But you can think of it as adding more oxygen to a fire. So when you have more oxygen, things that aren't supposed to burn start burning and things that are supposed to burn start burning really vigorously. If you have the right amount of oxidizer in an environment, your turnout gear would catch on fire and you could just light it with a match and the whole thing would go. So it's got some pretty big implications for us. We're gonna be working with this. It's pool shock, calcium hypochlorite, 70%. It's not a super powerful oxidizer because it's hard to walk into a pool and it's hard to walk into a store and say, give me one of these super deadly uh, oxidizers. Trust me, I'm a firefighter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna observe how this uh, accelerates a fire. The fuel that they're gonna be using is diesel. Diesel's got a flash point in the sort of 55 to 90 degrees Celsius range. Right now it's about 20 degrees. So this isn't going to burn at room temperature, at the temperature that we are right now. We'll have to heat it up a bit. So I'm putting equal amounts of diesel in both. And then I'm taking some of our oxidizer and I'm putting it in on your left side. I'm putting quite a bit because it is a more dramatic demo. So again, it's not going to burn just by itself because we can't just add a spark. The flash point is at a higher temperature than room temperature. So we have to heat it up to get it to produce enough vapors for it eventually to catch on fire. Beginning to go. All right, so we've got a fire here. And let's see how long this takes to go. The answer is quite a bit faster. And initially, they're both burning kind of lazily. If you just come in here, please, and just film these two a bit closer. So the fuels are still warming up, but you can see the one with oxidizer is beginning to catch up to the one that we lit first. So you can see the difference in the fire, right? This one's much more energetic, probably twice the volume of flame, twice the volume of smoke, more heat. This one without the oxidizer is burning much more lazily. Now imagine if this is a really strong oxidizer that really pushed the fire we might even be able to get to an explosion. I mean, after all, ammonium nitrate fuel oil is uh, diesel with a stronger oxidizer. It's got ammonium nitrate, not calcium hypochlorite, and then you end up with an explosive.